Have you ever wondered how to get the data returned from a future function? In this tutorial, I will be showing you how you can retrieve the data from a future function in two different ways. Here, I have created a simple Flutter app and now let's run the Flutter app. Now let's create a future function that will return something. In this tutorial, I will be creating a simple future function that returns some calculation integer. Now this is the simple future function that will return the value of 10 times 3. Now when we execute the calculate function, as you can see in the terminal, it printed out instance of future instead of the value. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how you can get the return value instead of getting the instance. The first way is to add a dot then function after your future function. It will execute the dot then function immediately after your future function completes. Now when we add a print on the value argument return, we will get the value. As you can see now, it printed out 30 instead of the instance of the function. The second way is to use future builder widgets. Add your future function in the future argument. Instead of child, this future builder widgets accept a builder as an argument. Now we can return the elevated button inside the builder so that the elevated button on press function can access to the snapshot data of the future. In future builder, the data retrieved from the future function will be added inside snapshot.data. As you can see, now when we click on the elevated button, it printed out the value 30 instead of the instant of the future. The only advantage that Future Builder has is that you can check if the snapshot has error or has data before you make a use of the data. So you can do something like if snapshot dot has error and from here you can handle the error. So here comes to the end of this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and don't forget to give us a like. See you in the next tutorial.